Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment commentary of Vivi, Fluorite Eyes Song. But today, we're going to be checking out the final four episodes, episodes 10 through 13. And not 13.5 because it's just a recap episode, so there's not much point in watching that one. But last time, on the last four episodes, man, we got to see two very, very good arcs. The first arc especially, uh, the Metal Float arc, was just peak storytelling, man. Terribly sad, but peak storytelling. It told the age-old ordeal of a man desperate to reclaim his lost love, and it told it in a very believable way. I mean, we've seen that kind of storytelling before, you know, where someone, they've lost someone they love and they care about, and they desperately will do anything to get them back, but usually the individual trying to get them back is kind of delusional in their hope. It's just all desperation, but with him, with the doctor, he had every reason to believe he could get her back. It was totally believable that she might still be in there, and I was fully, you know, understanding of why he was going after it, and it was only at the very end did we realize that it was too late. She could not be saved. Even though she was still singing the song, it was their song, the one that she loved more than anything, she wasn't there. Her soul was not in it, Vivi could tell. It was merely an echo, a faint shadow of her former self that was still singing. There was no way to get her back. And just that scene where she's rushing in and dives in for the epic final punch was simultaneously awesome and just as much heart shattering. And the aftermath of that was when it really drove the point home with the Vivi saying she wished he could find happiness, but it's a tall order when in his case, and he said, happiness? How am I supposed to find that? And you know what he did? The man took his own life right in front of her, and the effect that had on Vivi was just the worst. She literally couldn't stand existing anymore, and she, well, didn't take her own life or anything like that, she just sealed off her brain, <laughs> just locked it away into her subconscious and just let her new identity take the wheel. And that new Vivi ended up becoming a great success in the musical scene like she had wanted to do anyway, without any of that bad trauma slowing her down. But hey, you can't just do that. It's not healthy for a human to do it. And in her case, there was important stuff sealed away in there. So in the end, she had to get it all back. But that's all stuff that happened in the arc after that, but that first arc was just, mwah, perfect. The second arc was less good, honestly, a little bit less engaging overall than the Metal Float arc, but still good, definitely well executed, if not a little hard to follow in some places, but I liked the main central plot of it, you know, with uh, Antonio and uh, Ophelia, I believe their names were. Their whole thing was also quite twisted and messed up with uh, the guy's job was to make sure Ophelia reached her potential as a singer and he cared about her and he didn't want her to be weighed down by the responsibility of that so he made the honestly pretty illogical decision of just overriding her brain with his own he just took her out put himself inside of her body so that he could shoulder the burden instead but at the same time he compromised her mission. He could never reach the same heights that she could have if he had just trusted her. So the mission was a failure. No matter what way you slice it, but... And then in the end, you know what he was gonna do? He was gonna throw himself off a building and kill himself anyway, so... Yep, that's just uh, the progression of uh, the AI. It's making them do very human-like dumb decisions. But now, it all comes down to this. The final four, the last one of the season. I've heard they're gonna be making a season two, at least I hope they make a season two, because this was really friggin' good. <laughs> if they make more, I will gladly, gladly watch it, but just uh, wait and see what they do with it. 
I mean, my, my hopes are high. Let's see how this all comes to an end. Any Plex. What a friggin' ending to what a friggin' series. Just, man, so good. And uh, just the way it concluded right there with that, uh, with Vivi. I'm not sure exactly what to make of it, but, um, whether it's the Vivi or not, whether it's actually her or a new, a newly created Vivi is of little significance. The point is that it harkens back to, you know, what, what they talked about before in that you leave a legacy behind for those who follow you. That's what matters. And that has been done. You fight and keep going so that those who are born after you can live their lives to the fullest. Although, <laughs> human AI relations would be at an all time low <laughs> following that. Hundreds of thousands of people would be dead. Satellite or no satellite, just anybody who was, who was around AI when that was going on, there's a lot of dead people. Although apparently AI is still trusted enough to where they've got, you know, singers, performers like Vivi. Who knows how much time has passed? It's unspecified. And I, I assure you they would have to do a lot of fine-tuned bug testing with whatever's uh, piloting or just connecting together all the AI at this point. Maybe all the AI can just run independently without any such uh, archive needed. But man, that finale, it really, it really hit home with me, man. It brought tears to my freaking eyes. I leaned over, I couldn't take it. It's just, just such a, a, a sad yet fulfilling way to conclude Vivi's life. Even if she does come back in some form by the end. That was uh, the end of Vivi as we knew her, definitely. Just uh, the way they decided to have her voice where it just sounded like she was breaking down like that and just her final words were the cherry on top. Vivi as a whole, as a series, was one of the most fantastically put together that I think I've ever reacted to. This has been just exquisite. From its music, to its choreography, to its animation, to its artistry, to the storytelling, the writing, the character work, it's all been just amazing. Never seen anything quite like it, just in terms of its execution, especially with its art direction. Its art direction, you know, with those more detailed close-up shots, I can only imagine how long it would have taken to draw a shot like that compared to the typical shot, and even just the rest of the shots were no slouch in terms of them looking really good. It's just those close-up ones were so insanely detailed. You don't see shots like that in an anime all too often just because it, it really hikes up the, <laughs> the developmental costs there. But it paid off. It gave this a very unique identity in terms of its appearance, you know? And it really fit the aesthetic that they were going for, especially with its... Uh, it's music. I don't know a better way to put that. Is there other better words for it than just its music? Its score was just <laughs> perfectly in tune with everything that was happening. Pretty much every song we got was just a total bop and was just a great to listen to. And apparently there was a bunch of other, you know, bonus tracks that were made that uh, I could find and listen to if I wanted to, which would be cool. But yeah, for, just a, for such a short series, basically it was 13 episodes. And that's it. I can't see them making a season two of this, but if they do, I'll be there. I mean, the, the story ended in a very satisfying way. The apocalypse has been mostly averted, <laughs> mostly. A lot of people are still dead, but hey, the human race survives, so that's good. All the same though, Man, I could go on forever about every last little detail that was very well done about this, but I'd probably need to watch through the whole thing again just to be more concise. And there's an interesting point about the entire story of Vivi that, you know, you could have picked up on along the way, but I didn't really think about was that every time they would change history, you know, it would just course correct back because they kept, they tried to change an event earlier on that they thought would, you know, cascade and prevent other future events from occurring, but they just kept happening anyway. 
And they noticed that, and I, I know they brought it up, but their, their, their idea was just that if we just keep stopping them up until the events where the world would have ended, then the world won't end, but no. Because the freaking Archive caught on to their plan. It knew that they were trying to change history, and they were trying to mess with, with what was going to happen, so it didn't let them do it. And it makes some sense that it would be able to tell. They did say it was programmed to be able to try to predict the future. And when it saw those events happening, it could probably predict, you know, where things were heading. So it was trying to make sure they stayed going that way. But unfortunately, the archive seemed to already be, uh, you know, set in its ways. It was, it already wanted to, you know, take out all of humanity and replace them with AI. It was already decided whether those events happened or not. Because yeah, AI in general didn't become more human-like. But Vivi still did, <laughs> and, and uh, the archive was watching. She was popping into the archive all the time, so it was beginning to keep up on her progress. Ironically, the very thing that was changing history and preventing that future was also causing it. And yet she was also the only way out. Hmm. Honestly, Vivi just has to be one of the most beautifully executed things ever. <laughs> so. Thank you to Moo Cookie for commissioning for the entire series. It's been great, fantastic, you know? I'm glad to have checked it out, and I hope you guys have enjoyed all these reactions as well. Many of you have left very nice comments saying you've been enjoying them and have appreciated them, and I appreciate that deeply, immensely, from the bottom of my heart. Heck, I'd even watch this series again at some point, you know? I'd like to just uh, go back to the beginning and see it all in one fell swoop with uh, the hindsight of knowing where everything goes. That'd be interesting. And really, again, just like when I saw the first four episodes, not too much I can really critique. I mean, yeah, the, uh, the, the Antonio, yeah, whatever arc, you know, with all that, wasn't the strongest in terms of, uh, its execution, but it definitely was not bad. It was probably just the least good, which is the mark of a good series, where there's nothing really bad there's just things that are the least good. VV Florida Eye's themes were also on point. A lot of stuff about what it means to have passion, what it means to be human, and all of that stuff, you know, just... They portrayed it very well. They didn't really ham it up like a lot of other things might do with uh, those similar themes. It just truly felt genuine. So I guess for now, that's it guys, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on whatever else I end up doing around these parts. That would be great. I'm sure Moo Cookie has something else in mind that they want me to check out next after this, and if they don't, oh. that's all right. I'm uh, happy to have checked this out at the very least, but yeah, just, I can't say enough about how much I enjoyed Vivi. Just genuinely a wholesome, tragic, an engaging experience pretty much all throughout. And I hope you guys have enjoyed partaking in this journey as much as I have. It's been great. But like I said, for now that's it. So till we meet again, I will see you guys all later. <laughs>